Razavani for fighthype.com with me. Got successful coach tonight, Nate Diaz. And Nate Vasquez. <laughs> Nate, Nate Diaz. Diaz. It's been a long night. Yeah. It's been a long night. Um, Nate, you happy? Yes, I'm real happy. Um, the outcome is what I predicted. A win. Um, I didn't care if it was a knockout or a decision, as long as we got the W. I asked Junior when I was in your gym a couple of weeks ago, and I said, are you going to listen to instruction? And he said, I'll try. When he came to the corner, the first round was close. The majority yes. of the rounds, I think, that he, you know, I thought he won. Yes. Were there any instructions you gave him that when he went into the ring that he didn't follow? No, he pretty much followed all the instructions. Um, he, um, he did real good. He um, slowed down to the gal's pace um, one round, and I told him, do not do that again. You can't slow down to his pace, you need to pick it up. Keep punching, keep working. Make him fight, because he's going to tire, and he eventually did. And we got two knockdowns. In terms of the actual fight, what were the tactics? Because we were seeing a lot of head clashes, we were seeing a lot of back of the head hitting. What was the actual tactics that, the fight? That, that happens with lefties and righties, you know, it, it just happens. Um, our game plan was to keep him turning and pushing him back. Um, use the jab and throw more combos. Um, I thought he used the jab pretty well at, some, at times. Um, he didn't throw it as much as I like. Um, the right, his right, I wanted him to go to the body a lot more. Uh, he started loading up a little bit. Which um, I spoke to him in the round. Stop loading up. Go to his body if you're gonna load up because you're missing the head. Sorry, distracted by Richard Poxon. The fight itself was Junior just too good for Degel, or did Degel not perform to the level? Because it seemed like Degel was on the front foot a lot. Normally that's Junior. Yes, exactly. Um, Degel fought a, a different fight. He he tried coming forward, and he was actually pushing Junior back, which I didn't like um, because you cannot let a lefty press you. Um, they'll pick you apart. You have to press the lefty. Um, you can't let him get comfortable, and that's what we did. Um, told him, do not, do not let him come forward. Push him back, push him back. Use the jab, keep touching him, keep touching him. You're eventually going to break him down. What is the plan now for, for Junior? Where would you like him to be as his coach? 168, 160. He wants him in the world titles. Probably more accessible at 168. Um, Billy Joe Saunders is going to obviously fight the WBO strap. Yeah. Adam Smith's the champ, the WBA. Um, obviously the belts in middleweight are very tied up at the moment. But generally performance-wise, strength-wise, where, where's his best way? Um, either or. Um, whatever, whatever he gets a shot at. Um, and wherever the money is, you know. Um, and, and the belts. You know, I think he deserves a title shot. Either the IBF or the WBC. Um, I think uh, he, he should be next in line for one of them. Uh, if Darrell wins tonight, I think he should fight Darrell because he actually stopped the other guy. Um, th third round, so that'd be a, a fight I'd like to see um, for the WBC strap. How has the experience been for yourself? I know you've obviously spent a lot of time away from your family, yes. living with Chris, but the overall experience with someone like Chris Eubank Jr., how has that been for you? Um, it's been great, you know, um, it's been different, coming to a different country, being in a different country for so long, um, getting used to it. The language is, you know, we got the same words, but some some of your guys' words are, are, are a lot different. You know, the barriers, language barriers are a little difficult. Um, went to a couple comedy shows and, you know, it was, <laughs> yeah, it's, it was funny, but you couldn't understand, I couldn't understand their dialect as, you know, their, their talk, you know, and you guys have different words for stuff, but overall, it, it, it's, it's a beautiful country. I love it. Um, the food? Um, not too well. Besides that, it's a beautiful country. Um, I'd love to come back. And uh, maybe uh, Chris will come to Vegas too and train. Nate, many congratulations and well done to yourself. Uh, and hopefully we'll catch up with you either back at the Mayweather Boxing Gym or back here in Brighton. For sure. I'll be back in Mayweather Gym. Come check me out. Nate Vasquez for fighthype.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.